Now, a local lockdown is being enforced at two student accommodation blocks at Manchester Metropolitan University, where there have been more than 100 coronavirus cases reported. It means around 1,700 students will have to self-isolate for 14 days. It comes as thousands more students head to universities across England and Wales this weekend for the start of the new term. But what is life going to be like for them in the middle of the pandemic? Our education correspondent Dan Johnson reports from Liverpool, a city with a student population of more than 70,000. In Liverpool's student heartland, the council has come knocking. We've had reports of a party this week. Oh, yeah. So we're just really sort of pleading to young people and students to really be mindful. This is one of the, the most complained about roads in this area. We have to get this message out to them. 200 complaints already this month across a city that doesn't even have all its students back yet. Hello. Uh, from the city council, can we have a quick word? Yeah. Everyone likes a party, no, but okay. we have to, you know, restrain ourselves for, for a few months, unfortunately. There's lots of time left for them to enjoy this wonderful city. And, you know, I can sympathise with them, but I, they do have to do what's required of them to protect themselves and to protect, you know, our communities. These are big households. How many is in your one? Uh, eight. Eight, OK. Oh, yeah, that's rough, <laughs> that. That's so rough. John and Jabu are third years in a house of seven facing more online learning. You feel a bit short-changed, don't you, at the end of the day? You're sort of just getting out of bed onto your computer and just just sitting there in front of a camera. It doesn't feel that productive, but what else are you supposed to do? Do you think students are going to get blamed? Uh, yeah. I think we're an but, easy scapegoat. You know, we? like at home, like when I've been like at, at the pub or whatever, you know, I've seen loads of like middle-aged blokes like all mixing with each other and that, probably more so than I'd catch like, young people doing. It just so happens that it seems that the spikes coincided with the universities going back. Here, they're keeping some face-to-face -face learning alongside online lectures. Our campus has been transformed to make it safe, and we've really listened to, to both our students, staff, and also the re local residents as well, to make sure it's as safe as possible. Some people think this is just about you getting the money out of students that you need, and then inevitably, they'll have to be let down when teaching goes online and they face restrictions on their social lives. We're trying to make sure that the students are safe, that they're engaged, that they're, they're, uh, they have a fantastic experience, again, within the context of these challenges that we're facing now. Not everyone's reassured, though. Hugo's about to head across the country to Kiel. It's similar to sort of seeing a storm in the distance and then deciding to drive towards it. Where I am currently in Surrey has relatively low cases and where I'm going near Stoke-on-Trent has a lot higher. And I don't really want to go to a place where I can't get out of. Testing on campus could help keep things moving and maybe allow students to safely go home. But even if they all stick to every rule, cases are already high amongst their age group and more outbreaks will come. And tonight here in Manchester, this is one of two accommodation blocks that are entering their own lockdown. There are 1,700 students in this city who've been told to isolate for a fortnight after around 100 cases were confirmed, linked to this and another accommodation block just down the road belonging to Manchester Metropolitan University. The university says they can only leave their flats for a medical emergency. Teaching will move online. Now, they've been told they'll get welfare and medical support, but this is no start to their student experience. And with so many young people on the move across the country, I'm afraid we have to expect that we'll see more of this. Mm. OK, Dan, thank you. Dan Johnson there in Manchester.